we're going to do a demonstration of MIDI release velocity. Release velocity is one of the lesser known features of the MIDI standard. Everybody knows, I think, that when you strike a note on keyboard, the MIDI sends a note on message that contains a data byte containing the velocity, which is a measure of how quickly you press the key down. Not that many people know that when you let the key up, MIDI sends a note off message, and the note off message also contains a data byte, which, if the keyboard has implemented it, will have a measure of how quickly you let the key up. Now, there aren't that many synthesizers that can do anything with release velocity. However, one that can is the Matrix 1000. Release velocity is a routable parameter in the Matrix 1000's patch matrix. This patch point right here shows us that in this patch we currently have release velocity routed to the envelope 2 release time, envelope 2 being the envelope that controls the VCA. Now I'm going to route the release velocity to VCF resonance and when I do this we're going to notice something interesting about the way that the release velocity is implemented on this synth. You might assume that the release velocity would be zero until the key is actually released, but at least in this implementation it's not so. It remembers the release velocity from the last key that was released on that voice and uses that again until the next release. So we have... resonance goes low. On the next attack on that note, the resonance is low. I let it up high, and so on. And each voice has its own individual memory of that. So if I now play another chord, I get some notes with high resonance, some notes with low resonance. I'll let those up slowly. Now to really get drastic, we're going to move the release velocity routing over to LFO2 rate. LFO2 being the LFO that controls pulse width modulation in this patch.